Now this would be lovely for wedding favours, I think. Or it could be to keep little erasers in or whatever, whatever you have on your desk. But this little crate even has little slots in the handles, look. Ah, clever. And then this wrap that comes around. Now to close this, I would put a magnet under there so it holds it magnetically. But it's just a really nice little storage box. And that for on a wedding table, you could have it quite masculine or quite feminine. So I think that's a really nice one. Right, so I have drawn out the net for the crate. All right, so this is your builder box, your basic builder box. And we're working with a base here that has a tab on the left and the right. So we know that that's going to go in the middle. And then the sides don't have a tab. So we know that the tab goes to the straight edge there and there. And this, I found this much easier, drawing this out. You don't have to do that, but you might want to. <laughs> and then this is going to be the front of the crate. So again, we need the tab to go to a straight edge. So it can't go that way around, otherwise that won't join. So the tab goes in towards the base and the same on the back, the tab goes in towards the base like that. And then these are all your reinforcement pieces. All right, so let's build the crate first of all. All right, now then, let's put the sides on first. So we're gonna take our tape off take our side making sure that the handle is on the outside and glue that down and then this side let's get my tweezers under there there we go and then again making sure that the handle is on the outside I actually find it easier doing that with my right hand, so I'm going to turn it around. Okay, and then turn it around the right way back. Right, so the back now, which is weirdly at the front. I know that sounds really strange, it doesn't matter, I don't suppose, which way you do it round. As long as the tab goes into the middle. It must have been the way my brain was working on that day. And I'm going to actually, I'm going to put it flat down flat because it's a longer stretch. No, I'm not. And lift it up. <laughs> it just depends on what day it is, I think, which I find easier. Which is quite common for me because on a Monday I can tidy up and where I put my ink pads and my tweezers and my scissors make sense and then on Wednesday I'm like why have I put that in there that doesn't make sense standard for me that and then I'm going to position this one in place as well okay so I'm going to just push that in a little bit because I want that perforation line right up against that straight edge that's the other thing you find as well. If you've got glue left on your fingers and you do that, it comes off on your card. So just have a wet wipe handy. So now we're going to take these two pieces off. Fold that up, fold that back. And then just get that in straight there, okay? And then this one, took that side in. And push that side down. Okay, fabulous. Then I'm gonna do the other side. Like that, I'm gonna push that in, push that in. Actually, I'm gonna keep that one out now so I'm just dealing with one at once okay, I'm getting a bit self-assured now you should never do that because then it always goes wrong and then push that in and glue that bit down like that okay so then we've got our little crate and then you're going to take your reinforcement pieces and put them on the inside 
and that will strengthen that and hold it in place but that's quite cute isn't it a little crate quite like that super cute right so let's now look at the cover for this so we have different sections now here there are two little slits and that is for the front flap to slot into if you're not going to put decorative panels over the top okay so that's what they're there for and they're not meant to cut right to the edge they're meant to be that it slots in so the front panel doesn't have a tab so the base must have and it has but it only has one tab so you need to make sure that then that that base the tab goes to the straight edge all the way up okay so then the next piece is the back and that's got a tab on one end, one side so that has to go underneath there like that won't mess about with it now but that will go to there the top will then go to there and then the front flap will then go to there okay so well, let's do that now let's start with this one get rid of that and glue that onto there now just one more thing as well on here when you draw this out or when you look at it on your screen you'll see this has a double perforation line and that's because it has to it needs a little bit of extra width to fold over so what I do with those is I put my burnishing tool in between those two lines of perforations and just bend it over and that gives me a little bit of a space there to be able to wrap over something you'll know what you mean we'll know what I mean when I start using it but then put your tape onto the lower perforation line not the higher one okay so my eyes really aren't good enough for this anymore I need to go and get my glasses changed I think let me just take that off because I need to get that edge right to there get one bit down melanate and then you can do the next bit there right and then work your way along and press it into place as you go I talk to myself all the time when I'm crafting I shouldn't imagine I'm alone in that right and then the next bit and then that's going to stick onto there like that. That's a single perforation line. Like that. And then your base. And your movie card, whichever way around you need to. For it to be comfortable and easy for you to line up and then the last one is the front like that okay so then we need to work out where our crate goes don't we so that's the front flap so that's the top that's the back that's the base and that folds up like that so it's this part here I'm going to put my finger on there and then open that up and I know that that is going to sit on top of there which is the base and you will have reinforcement pieces for this as well I just didn't cut them out because I thought it was a waste of card now I would probably recommend red liner tape for this because it's going to be stronger and you could put red liner tape down and then put a layer of wet glue on top but as this is just a video a demo box I'm just going to do it the quickest way so I like to put that down on there and then position this over the top because then I have something firm to press that down onto like that okay and then I'm making sure that it's lined up in the middle and the wet glue will allow me to do that as well. Just scooch that over a little bit there and then give that a good firm press down and your 
reinforcement panels will strengthen that even more. And then all this then folds over, you decorate it, pop a little magnet on and then you've got that fabulous little box and this is what it looks like when it's all decorated but what's really interesting because you can put any pattern on any panel from any box it changes so that's quite feminine but if you did it in a more geometric shape it would look more masculine that's the joy of owning a scan and cut <laughs> right i tidied this one down and then we'll get on with the next